Oh. <laughs> so, I know you can't really tell what this is, because it's a little bit too close, but it's a box with cards in it. <laughs> yeah, I obviously, as I've said, I have tons of cards. I usually just do the doubles, so <laughs> we gotta get through these too. Um, I have no idea what's in here. I packed them. I don't even know how long ago now. <laughs> so we'll just take some out and look at them. Obviously the doubles, the weekly doubles is only like 15 cards and that takes 25 minutes. So I don't need too many cards to make a long enough video. So we'll just take, I can't even get any of them out. I guess we're not making a video. <laughs> Come on. There you go. How many is here? Mm, we got like seven. Hold on. Some more. There you go. Good enough. That should be enough for today's video. So, what did we pull out? Ooh. First up, Tony Phillips. <laughs> uh, he is a Tigers. What in the world does that say? I guess left field, outfield. What's the difference? It's still outfield. Ooh, 92, a nice new card. Even the ones I already have are nice and new. Hey, he kind of reminds me of somebody. Hold on, I almost had it. Let me pull it away and bring it back. One, two, three, what do you look like? Dang it. He looks like somebody. He looks like, um, um, maybe Don Cheadle? No, I don't know. He looked like somebody, some actor. All right, who else did we get in that little stack? Come on. Wait a minute, it's the same guy again. Tone fills and also upper deck, but this cooler style of upper deck. Or at least it was cooler back in the day. I mean, no, this is a 96 or some bull crap. Yeah, 92, never mind. Still the same year. Come on. What's he blowing a boat for? He's supposed to be playing baseball. Jeez. It's a bat and an oar. 510. A little guy, he's like my height, or maybe a tiny bit smaller. Not sure. I don't know how tall I am. <laughs> cool. Who else do we get? Okay, is this? <laughs> Ooh, surprise! Tony Phillips trying to casually rip a fart. <laughs> Oops! Oh god, that did not squeak out like I hoped. <laughs> Third base. It just said in left field, outfield. Now he's switching his. Oh, maybe that said IF infield. So this guy does everything? Oops, it's upside down. Ooh, Fleer U99. 510, 175. At least he maintains his height and weight. He doesn't grow or get fat. When did he become a pro? 82? Oh no, because then there's some weird Tacoma stuff. Now, I'll see you, Tom. Now we have Gary Pettis, who likes to tan way too much. by three inches and weighs 15 pounds less so he should be like a stick probably this thing's going, I guess isn't really that tall I don't know Ugh, okay these cards are kind of boring there's no stories or anything <laughs> <laughs> okay now we got Gary Pettis again Okay, what is happening here? How is this the same guy? How is this the same guy? Look how dark he is in this one. And he's like brown in that one. <laughs> how is this the same guy? Is it not the same guy? Is there just two guys with this name? What year are these? <laughs> 61160. Uh, 58. What the heck? What is happening? Did he get some Michael Jackson surgery or something? He's wicked dark here, and then he's just brown there. What? I don't understand. Let's see, this is 89. What year was this card? 89? It's the same year, too? What in the heck? I don't understand. <laughs> Career highlights. Led Tigers and stolen bases in 88. Ranked second in AL, 
gold glove winner at 85 and 86, and let AL outfield in. Chances. <laughs> What's a chance? <laughs> well, you could have caught it, but you missed. But hey, you still tried. Second AL in stolen bases in 85, despite being hampered with only one le Okay, I was gonna make a joke about, but the real story is stupid. Stolen, second in stolen bases in 85, despite being hampered by wrist injury? What does a wrist injury have to do with you being able to run? That's so stupid. It, it should be like an ankle injury or something. Then that would be more of a stat. Wrist injury. Oh wow, it's gonna affect his legs. Fourth in AL in stolen bases as a rookie in 84. Oh, so he's a rookie in 84, and then the next year with his hurt wrist. <laughs> Led Pacific Coast large, I guess, in runs, 138, and steals 52 with Angels Edmonton 5 and 83. Ugh, look at this happy guy. Edwin Nanez. Look at him. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, he's got like a fridge mouth. Yeah, French teeth. Woof! Check that out. I forgot the other card I think says the full name. Was this one say? Nope, it's just Edna Nunez, but Gary is Gary George Pettis. Let's check out this story. Ready? Called up to Tigers 62889 after compiling 1 5 record, 258 RA, 1 save, and 53 strikeouts in 54 innings at Toledo. Led Mariners in saves in 85 and 87. Led Midwest Large, I guess, in wins 16 to 3. And complete games 13 with Mariners. Wow, so far, man, 81. Oh, look, he's from Puerto Rico. Hamacao, Puerto Rico. Just like Mayajo Jones is from Caraco. It's not Puerto Rico, but it still ends in that cow. Okay, bye, Mr. 65240. 65240? That's almost like Orton and Cena, aren't they? 64240? <laughs> this guy's one inch taller than the same weight. But totally not ridiculously jacked like them. He's just kind of regular. So I guess he's a little bit chunky. Oh, look at this guy. He's all happy too. <laughs> that boss gonna crack me right in the face. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have my face destroyed forever. Take the picture, quick! <laughs> Did you get it before, <laughs> before I shattered my whole entire face and now I have no teeth and no nose? Matt Noakes. Ugh, Matt Noakes C, he's the captain. 6 1 185. Hmm. It says Matt made his all star game debut, 7 14 87. He belted! The first championship series home run, 10 12 87. Monthly scoreboard. I don't know what that's supposed to be all about. April, May, June, July, nothing. August, nothing the first time. September, not too much. September includes October stats. Wow. So we did really good in September and October. Oh, look at this guy. Pete Redfern. He doesn't want to be like those typical green ferns. You know, he wants to be a little different. So he's going to be a red fern. And look at him trying to casually let one tear as well. But he's less casual than the other guy. The other guy was just trying to be sneaky. This guy's just like, I got gas and you're going to know it. <laughs> Pete helped USC to... Victory in the 1974 College World Series. Wow. 1974. I can think that's a new stat. What's this card from? 63? <laughs> Obviously not. If it has 74 stats, come on. 1980. Oh. Tops chewing gum? Wait a minute. Is that how Tops started? But they just come and then they eventually became cards only? Mm. Signed by Twins in 1976. Bicentennial a year to the largest bonus contract ever given by club to right hand hurler. Pitched outstanding two hitter to blank Rochester for Toledo of International League. What the heck does that say? Pitched outstanding two hitter to blank Rochester for Toledo of International League. May 6, 1978. That doesn't make any sense. Pitched outstanding two hitter to blank Rochester for Toledo of International League. There's no punctuation, so that is one giant sentence, and then it puts a date. 
That doesn't make sense. <laughs> 6'2", 195. Ooh, see ya. Mr. Sentence, that's not a sentence. Oh, man, I did way too many cards now. I'm just saying there's no stories. I still got like 32 of them to do. <clears throat> Jeffrey Bollet. Check out that chin and mustache. Ooh, he's playing golf now. Look at him. Four! Three BSS? I think that should just say golfer. <laughs> Jeff was signed as a 10th round draft selection of the Twins. Of course it'd be 10th round. Look at him, he's a golfer, not a baseball player. June 10, 1996, by Scout Ed Dunn. Made big league debut as a pinch hitter versus Red Sox, 5-12-9-2. Wait, so does he play or he's just a pinch? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, I found Jack's brother, Jeff Reardon. <laughs> he's just practicing his uh, karate moves or something, though. I'm getting ready to do a power kick, I think. Jeff Reardon, P. He's six foot exact, 200 pounds exact. This guy likes even things. Not messing around with weird heights and weird weights. Hmm. Jeff and his wife are the parents of three children. Wow. That's the best stat they could come up with for this guy. See that terrible? Let's see. No, it's, it's like he has normal years. Games, innings pitched. All right, he's kind of average. That's the best that they come up with this guy. They don't want to talk about how he's like the master of every kind of martial art. They just want to talk about how he has three kids. Cool. What year was this? 1990. Wow. Hey, look. Jeff again. Getting ready to launch a grenade. So he's also a military man, in addition to extreme ninja. <laughs> Ooh, here you go. Wow, he loves his J's. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Jeff James Reardon. <laughs> and his brother's Jack, so it's just like Jeffrey James Jack James, Jeffrey Jeff Jack James Reardon. October for, even his, oh my word. This guy really is all about even numbers. Even height, even weight, October 1st, so he wants to be right on there. If you break down the number of October, it's 10. So 10's like the first, um, you know, double digit month. And it's an even number. 1955, that's pretty roundabout. You know, it's divisible by fives. Man, this guy just loves his roundabout things. There you go, there's some stats. They couldn't say this on the other card. Contract status, eligible for free agency after 89 season. Nah, I don't care about that. Eh, maybe I'll read it. How acquired? Traded from Expos to Twins. 2387 with C. Tom Nitto for P. Neil Hampton, P. Yorkis Perez, and P. Al Cordwood. And C. Jeff Reed. Why does everybody always use their first initial? And what's up with all these guys with P? What is it? Peter, Paul, and Patrick? Patrick Neil Heaton, Peter Yorkis Perez, and Paul Al Cordwood. <laughs> Career highlights. Only active reliever to register eight straight 20 save seasons. Set Twins one season record for saves in 88, ranking second in AL. Had zero ERA for four World Series games versus Cardinals in 87, saving the seventh, second in AL in saves in 87, second in all saves in 86, led majors in saves in 85, second in NL in saves in 82. 26. Oh, now they put the number. All the other years, they're like, man, whatever, fuck it. All star in 85, 86, and 88. Okay, two stories about this thing. First off, finally, somebody who knows how to have a decent ERA, zero. That's what I'm always talking about. These cards are always pointing out these guys that have like a 3.5 ERA. Oh, he's so good. And I'm like, three's terrible. Zero. That's what I'm talking about. See? That's good. Never heard of this guy, but apparently he's wicked good. Second off, though. Even though he seems to have all these stats, I'm sure Cade destroyed all of these. 
So at least I'm looking at a, uh, what is this, an 89 card when Cade wasn't even playing yet? Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to be getting, I still have a few more that I took out of the stack to do. I think there's five here. But I'm starting on, <laughs> it's going to be a new guy now, just like I keep having multiples of these doofuses. So that's going to do it. Until next time, I said to see ya.